What is going on, Aries? Welcome to your reading. We're going to take a look at the energy from July 22nd through July 29th. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. Hope you guys are doing well. Stick around to the end of the reading. I have a couple announcements that I'll do at the end. One being how you can receive a free private reading from me. So make sure that you stick around. I've got some important stuff to say that you may want to hear besides the reading. If bad words offend you, sometimes I like to say them and sometimes they just slip out. Hard left if it bothers you, but I hope you stick around and see what's going on for the week. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you and your person, whomever is on your mind. Aries, let's do it. What happened with you and this person in the recent past? Oh, my ass looks amazing as I walk away. Eight of Cups. What's going on right now? What's the current energy? The Empress, Libra. Taurus, Major Arcana. So if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you subscribe. I hope you stick around. I hope you have a good time. Returning subscribers, thank you guys for all of your support always. I really, really appreciate you, Aries. If you are new to Tarot, when I say Major Arcana, there are 22 in the deck and they just represent big shifts in energy. Not a whole lot of free will and we've got some zodiac signs that are associated with the Majors. So just wanted to point that out. What's on your person's mind, Aries? What's going through their thoughts? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Typically Taurus energy for me, but it can be anyone. What does this person think of you? The Nine of Swords. Are you up late at night? Are you worried? Do you have a headache, Aries? They may think you're experiencing some anxiety. How do they feel about you deep down? The Ace of Wands. How do they wanna move forward? What are their intentions? Oh, Daddy with a Wand, King of Wands. Leo Sag Aries, uh, Leo for me in this particular deck, but this person just, well, they're attracted to you. There's a lot of passion here. So if you're on a break, you're broken up, whatever, this is how they would feel about reconciling. If you're already connecting, this is their plans moving forward. This person's very attracted to you. They have a lot of attraction. They're feeling the wand for you, Aries. What's hidden that you don't see? What's going on? Seven of Swords. Mom never likes to see that. We'll see why. What's your advice from Spirit, the Magician? Major Arcana for Virgo or Gemini. Just depends. Again, can be anybody. I just like to point those out. All right, let's kind of move you a little. All right, what's the outcome for you and this person? 22nd through the 29th, the Nine of Pentacles little Virgo action. I'm getting a very independent energy from Aries, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. You guys are nurturing yourself, you're loving yourself this week or the week to come. And I feel like you're just kind of putting your foot down. I'm getting a very like um, emperor energy. I wouldn't be surprised if the emperor shows, that is your card. But setting boundaries, overcoming some obstacles here, this person's been very non-committal. They could even be having some financial issues or just pulling away. Very much about them right now, it feels like. But they are attracted to you and they are gonna make a move towards you. But I feel like it's gonna be more Aries during this time period who's like, you know what? I got my coins, I got my work, I got my business. I have myself and I'm good. That's what it feels like, but let's see what's going on. This person may have screwed you over before. You've got that Seven of Swords and the Hidden Factors, or you're just avoiding, you know? Because the Seven of Swords is strategizing a plan. It's not just cheating, lying, stealing, although it can be. They know that they've, you know, caused you some anxiety, some worry. They may feel like you're not, you're losing sleep over them. It doesn't mean it's true. Somebody walked in the recent past or just kind of had that energy of, you know what, this is no longer fulfilling me. I got to go find my own happiness. We've got a new beginning here with the Empress. Again, abundance, beauty, physical beauty, but also beauty on the inside. And I feel like this person is just, you kind of wow them, Aries. But I also feel as though whatever's happened in the past you know, or even currently going on for some of you, you're just all about loving yourself going towards new beginnings, maybe focusing on your career, money, something like that. All right, let's check it and see what's going on. We're gonna clarify this bad bitch of a reading. Why is this Eight of Cups here between you and this person? Remember, this is just whomever's on your mind. What is it? Yeah, Six of Swords, the water Uber was called twice. All right, what's the Six of Swords with that Eight of Cups in the past? Queen of Cups, Scorpio Cancer, Pisces. You may have water in your chart. 
That Queen of Cups, look, her cup is closed. She's got a lot of love to give. She's got emotion for someone here, but mm -mm, only when it's right, says the Queen of Cups. So this is walking away because your emotions weren't being fulfilled. Turning your back, moving on, tired of being in your head, tired of dealing with shit. I just said a bad word, didn't I, Aries? So moving on, maybe you're at a distance from this person. But with that Queen of Cups, I feel like your intuition was telling you something was just, it's time to love yourself, you know? And it, again, that Queen of Cups is very nurturing and beautiful energy, but only when he or she feels it's right, going by intuition. So why is the Empress here right now? What's this Empress energy? Why is this here? And the High Priestess in reverse. Pisces major arcana so somebody ooh, let's see what's this empress with the high priestess in reverse why is this here right now and the death card in reverse somebody's going to open up to you they're still holding on to this so with the death card in reverse this person's still holding on that's Scorpio major arcana yeah guys and ladies so somebody still wants to grow here with you I'm getting more that this they could be having financial issues. We'll see why that King of Pentacles is in reverse, Aries. But this person, mm -mm, they're still, they still want to grow this. And I do feel a lot of y'all are just kind of doing your own thing, nurturing yourself, loving yourself. But somebody's about to open up. They're not, they haven't let go of this connection. Sorry. That's just what I'm pulling. It may not be your story. If not, check out your rising or your sun sign or your moon sign. But it's what I'm seeing. What's on this person's mind? The King of Pentacles in reverse. I'm not so sure that this is the energy they're sitting in. This is what's on their mind. And temperance, major for Sagittarius. I think this person feels like you might have somebody else in your energy. Mom's not saying it. I'm just, the cards are saying it. It's what my intuition's telling me as well. Because with temperance there, you've got Sagittarius, major arcana. They're, they're being patient here. I think that they feel as though you no longer want to commit, that you're very, very focused on yourself, your work, your abundance. And I mean, who could blame you? Why is uh, temperance here on their mind? Yeah, the three of wands, they're waiting. That's what I just said. This person's waiting while you kind of, you know, get ready to commit or want to commit to this person. The king of pentacles in reverse with that three of wands. Again, for some of you, they, they think that you're connecting with someone else. And I, because they're, they're holding on or they feel like you've gone back to somebody. What the hell, Aries? What's going on? Why does this person view you as the nine of swords with the moon? Ooh, anxiety. You, and this could even be outside of this connection. You may have even expressed to this person, I got a lot on my plate. The nine of swords with the moon, Pisces energy, cancer energy though. But this is a lot of anxiety. This is a lot of worry. And it could be just in life in general. You may have even told this person, you drive me effing crazy. I got a lot on my plate. I need some space. What the hell? You've put me through hell. Something like that. And this could just be life in general. Why the nine of swords with the moon? Because of the six of cups. Some of you have children. You could have children with this person or just your single parent or you know something like that with the six of cups. They do view you as knowing also that this is a strong connection. I think this person's energy has been in and out of your life, probably a soulmate. How do they feel about you deep down, Aries? The Ace of Wands. There's your fire. Fire. And the Three of Cups. Yeah, they want to reunite. I'm telling you. What's this Ace of Wands with the Three of Cups? I'd be interested to know. Y'all leave down in the comments. Why do they view you as having all this anxiety and worry and fear and all of this stuff? It's going to be different for everyone, but I want to know what they've put you through or just what you're going through in life. Maybe you pulled away from this person because your plate's full. Three of cups. Yeah, ace of cups. Damn, somebody's in love with you. I'm telling you. At first, when I laid out these cards, I was like, this is a big fat player, but I don't think so. I think you're putting this person on the back burner. Now, maybe for some of you, they did play you or lie to you in the past, but that's not this energy now. This person wants to heal this connection and reunite. You got two aces there. Again, we're, we're coming into this reading with the person on your mind. For some of you also, I just want to preface, you could have new love coming in. Could be that King of Pentacles energy, Earth. Uh, how does this person want to uh, move forward? Or how do they feel about reconciling or fixing this shit? Look at that. That flew right out. I don't know if you saw it. Queen of Wands. Okay, Aries, that's your card. So we've got a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands. 
this is a power couple. This is a lot of passion. I told you before, this person's super attracted to you. I mean, maybe this was just like a passionate, you know, connection at one time and you're like, F that. I love myself too much, but they're still holding on. And now it, to me, this is a resurgence and this person has a lot of love for you. That king and queen of wands, this is also a soulmate. When you get a king and a queen of the same suit, doesn't matter who they are. And with that six of cups, this is a very important connection. King, And you've got the hermit, sign of Virgo. Major Arcana. So you've pulled away or withdrawn from this person and they know that. They want to take action though. This person may have even been kind of withdrawn at times or even, you know, kind of going going within a lot of self. I think this person's been doing a lot of self-reflection. And, you know, because that hermit isn't just ghosting or withdrawing. The hermit is trying to figure out some stuff. Very, very slow, very wise. They also know that it's going to take a hell of a lot to get you back or to get this thing moving. What's going on behind the scenes that you don't know, Aries? Seven of Swords with that Eight of Wands. What's the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Wands? Why is this in the hidden factors? So this is what's uh, being hidden that you don't know or see. And the Sun in reverse. Major Arcana for Leo. This person may have been online talking to other people or, you know, or they think you're doing that. They're strategizing a plan, though. They're going to be slow to get this thing going because I think you're the one that's kind of pulled away from them. There's a delay here with that sun in reverse to manifestation with the eight of wands to things moving forward. And yes, to communication, but it's coming with the page of cups, Pisces energy. There's that like apology, that communication. God, I, you know, and again, leave in your comments, Aries, I wouldn't be surprised if you've been, if this isn't like your first rodeo with this person, with this kind of stuff, and you're just kind of tired of it, it looks like, but they're not. Why is the magician your advice, Virgo, Gemini energy, and the seven of wands? Why the magician with the seven of wands? Why is this the advice? for Aries and the five of cups. Just be careful. So see, there's that past energy or there is that, you know, that regret, that, disappoint, that disappointment. I feel like this person misses you, but then there could be some sort of repetitive cycle here. They're saying stand your ground. With the magician, it could look all shiny and pretty, right? The magician has the ability to pull you in, to manifest, but it's also, you know, using the laws of attraction, yes, but the magician also can be very charismatic. So you're going to need to stand your ground and be strong here. Also, too, it could be spirits telling you, like, maybe block them out with that seven of wands because of the five of cups. It could lead to more regret, just like you experienced in the past. I, mm, man, yeah, see the devil. You guys are stuck to each other like white to rice. Something toxic. I don't feel, you know, when we see the devil, Capricorn, Major Arcana, I don't feel like, I feel more just repetitive, negative patterns is what spirit's trying to tell you. So you need to be careful of that. I do feel like this person has a lot of emotion for you. They may even be in love with you. I don't care what they did to you in the past. I mean, I care, but you know what I'm saying. Like this Ace of Cups is healing. They do want to heal. They want to reconcile. There's a reconciliation with somebody that is either in love with you or has a lot of emotion for you. Aries, I think you guys are stuck to the, this is like a soulmate, could be a twin flame kind of type relationship. You will hear from them, but they're going to take their time. I think they're trying to go within and figure out how to reach out to you, how to communicate with you because your energy looks super strong. And I think they've caused you a lot of anxiety or you just have a lot going on in your life right now. So they're kind of walking on eggshells. What's the outcome here? 22nd through the 29th for you and this person. Aries, you've got the Nine of Pentacles with that Ten of Cups. I think a lot of you are focusing on your home, your family, if you have kids, you know, your work, your job, things that make you happy and you're okay doing it on your own. I don't see you reconciling with this person over this time period, but I see this energy is like coming to a boiling point. Like they're manifesting this. Somebody has definitely not let go of this connection and you're going to hear from this person. What's this Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of uh, Cups? Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Four Aries. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. 
balance. I think a lot of you are going to really work on your, your home life, your family, your children, your work, all of that. I think that maybe at some point this connection left you kind of off balance and that's probably why you've got that nine of swords with the moon. And I think this is a period where you just refocus on being on your own, getting your stability back, getting your happiness back maybe even spending time with family. The Six of Pentacles here too. This is a lot of you do some sort of work. Um, you could do some charity work, but also Aries, some of y'all do some work where there's this, you're giving to someone, they're giving back to you. There's like this equal give and take exchange. For some of you, this person was married and that's why you pulled away from them and they still are, but I'm telling you, <sighs> They got, they got, they're hung up on you as well. So y'all do with that what you will. But that's what I've got. I've got a period of time of Aries really focusing on yourself and your money. Your work and your money look really good and your home life family look really good as well. Um, all right, Aries, y'all want a free reading? Subscribe to the channel. Comment below that you'd like to enter the drawing for the free reading. I'm going to go live on August 1st on YouTube and I will randomly pick a winner and that winner could be you. You never know. You can comment on as many readings or videos as you like, Aries. Also too, if you want a private reading in the next couple months, you better go ahead and book it. The link will be below. I am gonna shut those down after I receive the first 10 bookings and private readings will be closed after that until October. So book now or wait till November, December, most likely. Um, and the link to all of that will be in the description box below as well as in, pinned in the comment section. Join the channel for some extra perks as well. You get some extended readings as part of your monthly membership. All right, Aries, if you would give it a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. I love you guys so much. You guys are so, so supportive to my channel always. And just a big fat, I love you. Really, Aries, you guys are just, you're my people. So I appreciate you very much. And I love you hard, love me hard back. And we're going to speak soon.